I have a, an Illustrator tutorial that involves resizing panel art for a new die line. So the first thing I do when I get a die line in from a customer is I create different layers. The, one for the die line, one for the art, one for the panel fills, which are these, and one for any dimensions. So I, I move the dimensions first by selecting same stroke color and moving it. And then select same fill color and move it to the new layer. Then I can turn these off. And I copy my fills and put them on the fill layer. And this is, I, the first thing I do is I increase the size of it a little bit to fit the new art, and then I'll just make adjustments. So this, I start from the backwards to the front. This is the back panel closest to the, to the seal area of the die, and these are, and this is the front. And the front has a foldover flap on the side. So I'll check my the dimensions of the back panel. 3.1875 square and adjust this. And then align it with the line tools to the to the die, to the interior die. Then I deal with these side panels last. Then I do the same thing with this with the center panel. 3.1875. And I'll size this accordingly. to the center die fold, the fold area. Then, then I align the top front panel, group these elements, and align them. I usually only leave about an eighth bleed. This is where the layers come in handy because I can isolate Lock, I generally isolate art by locking it on the artboard and also by locking individual dies. So lock this die and select this area. I usually just go like a quarter inch over the fold. And I also do the back. Um, command two to lock. And unlock. Now this area here, the reason why I do the front panel before the side panel is so I can measure and make sure that this, this white area is the same as this white area here when it folds over. So the way I measure that is just with the direct selection tool, select this edge of the box, I copy it, lock this and then paste this in front and then select this interior the the fold line as well and then check the width and this is the area this is the height this i should need to match this height white area on the side flat so i'll group these first i check check this this width here should be the same. This width here should be the same as this width, which I have locked. It's 0 0.6137, 0 0.6137. So then I'll lock this 
and align it to the side of the box and set my cursor value to the to the width I copied earlier and move it. So now I know these areas are the same. And I set my bleed, blocking the die to be approximately the same as it is on the other side. And then I'll add bleed to these other panels, a quarter inch here and here, but not, not obviously not into the top flap. And then I add bleed here, like this, here, here. this and here so it should all match up and then I'll unlock my front panel add bleed there so I have bleed all around except into the white part big part of the the box that needs to remain white so I just check my work Up. Then I'm ready for my other elements, whatever other elements the client wants me to add. So that's it. I hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching.